Okay, bring it back down. At this point too, I want to be able to find zero, zero, zero. So if it's going to bring him down so that our axis lines right up on top of that thick line for the grid. Okay, and at this point he's really arched himself forward. I think what I'm going to do is just pull the mass of control backwards. So he, he hits it so hard that it forces his body back a little bit on the way down. That way when he does when he does land, he's not going to land with his head on top of the blocks. Alright, that should do. So let's adjust his pose a little bit so he looks like he's actually landed on the ground. Okay. And I believe he's going to go back up for another whack at this. So I'm just going to go take a look at where we are full height last time. It looks like our master control was up to about uh, three grid points up on our fourth line. So we're going to go ahead and find that pose. Grab our master control. We're going to move it up to the fourth point. One, two, three, four. I believe. No, on the third line. One block too high. Three right above there. Okay, we're going to match this pose up. This time he's really going to reach for this. I just want to bring mass control forward. Keep ourselves a little bit closer. And we have the contact point again. Perfect. All right, looks like our character antics one more time just to really make sure that it's in place. It's ready for that final swan at this. And then four. Now I'm not sure if these contact points are lining up just right. We'll get the timing set up for these and then we'll actually go in and build these blocks in and we'll just make sure that these poses are actually going to hit in the right spot. You might also have to fix some of the weights here on the body just to make sure that that stays a little bit smoother. I notice we get this bit of a kink going on. All right, so at this point, our character lands back down on the ground, and it appears that he's achieved what he's set out to do, hammered that block back in. So arc it back a little bit. Again, this would have, he would have hit that so hard the last time that it would have knocked him backwards. And all right, now at this point, he's going to hop back up and look at the camera. I believe at this point, he's more or less looking for approval. He's going to nod at the camera and say, yep, that's how you do it. Did my job. <laughs> so, 
rotate this 90 degrees towards the audience. And I think I can go pose or two forward. I'm just going to have the character kind of lean, lean this way and then head go the other way. Anyway, let's watch that. All right. And again, yes, it's very fast. And uh, we can push these poses as we go forward once we turn it on, kind of get our timing set up. So at this point, let's hide this object. Start uh, checking out the time here. So we're going to turn on all our controls. So we can see all the keys that are going to happen. Looks like we have a key here that we don't need. So every one of these marks should represent a new pose for our character. So let's watch this at 24 frames a second. Okay, so we know right away that between here, there is just a bit too fast, so we're going to slide this across. I know we're going to need more from when it takes off. So let's watch that again. Right, so it's getting better. Let's pull these poses across. These ones. Oh, that was getting a little bit better, a little bit too slow. Bring in one frame each. Pull the uh, look at camera one back a little bit so it settles. We'll give it two more frames. Watch that. Perfect. All right, so I have them look at the camera a little bit longer. Still a little bit longer. And then let's have the turn pose a little bit longer here. Okay, so. We antic just a little bit too soon for our jump. When we do jump, we really want to hold that a little bit because he's going to try and get some a lot of force into this jump. Okay, so when he's up in the air, he's going to hold that pose for a little bit as he really extends his back out. He's going to hit it as hard as he can. That one's going to be a rather fast hit. Then when we come back down, it'll be a little bit slower. So see how that looks. All right, we actually need him to drop a lot faster than what he did there. And he also needs to not hold on to that hit so long. All right, so when he lands, we're going to extend that longer because he's going to settle into the land. Then he's going to antic a little bit more, pop himself back up. He's going to hold that pose a little bit as he stretches his neck for another whack at this. Hits it. It's going to be rather fast. He's going to go back out into his pose and hit it again. This one's going to be just a little bit shorter than the last one. Then we hit. That one's going to be short. It drops down to the ground. And we're going to have that last one hold where you stays inside the settle for a little bit. So he's going to settle and then he'll pop up look at the camera and then almost right away just kind of does like a, a pose for approval. Okay, let's see how this looks. All right, it looks like our wax were just a little bit too fast. We can kind of suspend them in the air a little bit longer there. This cartoon is short out. Move this across and move it back a little bit longer. Alright, perfect. Watch that. Great, so let's watch this one more time. I think we got the timing down. This is going to hop across three times, look at the camera, check out the block, give it a whack, hop up for another two whacks, look at the camera for approval.
Okay, so that's how we're going to set up the, uh, the poses there for the cartoon hammer. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to set the tweens up between these poses and start doing some follow-through, some, some better antics. We'll throw in the, uh, the full jumps and just really start fleshing out the final part.